everybody, Richard here, and it is time for a... What am I doing? Welcome to the Nerd Life. Um, today it is time for a journey into Forge World. That's right. And this is the one that I teased the other day. Um, I was going to put it on the end of that one. Put it all together and just make one big journey into Forge World business. Uh, so I am stuck in a trash bag. Crap. Anyway, um, so things, things have been well lately, um, and my wife, we're on a plan, we're doing things good, we're kicking it out, we're, uh, just rocking along, man, um, living life with a smile and a happiness, um, and yeah, it's just, things have been really good, it, it, things have been really up, we have, we have amazing friends, uh, friends that are more like family than anything around us. Like this doesn't have, this doesn't have to do with them. I'm just saying that in general, it encompasses our whole perception of reality. Is it perception of reality or, sorry, I was sitting on my man parts. Um, our just way of thinking, our life. We, we've focused so long um, on all the negative aspects of every time something bad happened in our life, we just, we just stuck with it. We just like, we let it drag us down and we let, we let it bury us pretty much. And that way of thinking caused everything else to kind of slip out of hand financially, slightly, uh, family oriented issues, just everything, everything, health, wealth, well-being, just all, everything all the way around. You, you focus on that negative, it drags you down. It really does. But anyway, this is a journey into Forge World, so let's get there. Things have been really good. I've had money set aside in my hobby wallet for a while. Put stuff away, put stuff away, let it grow. And uh, I vowed last year that if the same thing happened this year and things went well, I was going to do something and I bought a Forge World order. And uh, this year, things are a lot better than they were last year. Um, so I jumped on a, a Forge World order. I, now this Forge World order, I did a, it was a, a group effort. Group effort? No. I got free shipping. I, I hit up a couple other friends, Mythos and Freak, and, a, uh, I was going to hit up a couple other people and just have everybody, if they wanted to jump on the order, since I had free shipping, and that way we could all get some stuff sent to us, all free shipping, and I would ship it to them out, what? Yeah, go ahead. Kid coming here. Can I start the dryer? Work? You want to do some chores? Go ahead. Silly girl. Kiddos, man. Anyway, so... They got their stuff in. I shipped it out to them already. And then my stuff's here. And you saw one of the thing, two of the things I got last time. Um, the Typhus... Not the Typhus. The Sorcerer, the Chaos Sorcerer, Nurgle Sorcerer, and then the Scythes. I got those from Forge World, but I got something else. I got something special. Something I've wanted for a while. Um, probably hyping this up, and I bet a bunch of you. This is going to be a game. But pause the video. When I go table down, leave in the comments what you think it is. I don't know why I say that, because it's not like I'm going to see it, and you can say whatever you think it is. Whatever you want to think it is. Um... But let me get it set up for table down so I can show you. We're going to go a what's in the box journey into Forge World right now. Table down, okay? Let's do that. All right, guys. Here we are, table down. Um, so uh, as soon as I show you one of these boxes, you're going to know damn well what it is. Um, so the kicker is trying to figure out which box to open first. Uh, it's going to have to be because it's going to give away everything the second I open it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, for those of you who went down there and took a guess at what I got, no, it's not a towel manta. Sorry, guys. Um, that thing is just, yeah. That thing would need Daddy to have a new house because it's so massive. It's so big. I mean, you're looking at a model that's like three feet wide, right? So, 
let's get into one of these smaller boxes. Just one shot. This is, you know what? This is the perfect one. This is absolutely perfect because this is the epitome of what it is. And no, that didn't come from Forge World. That's just what I use. Um, let me set that over there. Um, set that bag over there. Let me set that there. Ah, there it is. The white box. Woohoo! Look at me. <laughs> I'm sneaky and a turd. <laughs> um, this was checked by Scriggly Griggly Griggly. It actually looks like it was checked by Mai. My name is Mai. This is your fancy little thing. Um, paper that says, this is how you use, to, to, this is what you do to play with stuff. It's so cute. That kind of looks like one of what I got. We'll see. Um, so this box <laughs> is a fancy white box. Oh, uh, here it goes. Oh, oh I'm so fast. Oh, oh, if I pull that out, you're going to see it. You're going to know what it is. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, you, got uh, you have to do it. All right, guys. Here's all the parts for this one bag. One and so, one bag. yes, this one bag is going to tell you everything Daddy got from Forge World. Yep. That. That right there. Can you see it? Can you see what it is? These are all the pieces to the thingy. Yep. Yep. Singing Guys, I got a Warlord Titan. <laughs> um, Whippy Mabobs. Just... Give it here. Give it here. What's a Whippy <laughs> And I decided to go with the Lucius pattern head. Just because I really like it. I've always liked it. I've had, like, I had the, the, uh. There it is. There's the head. I've had the, uh, these yeah, these are little hoses for them. Yeah. I was still, oh, I thought so. I heard a beep beep. I had the, I can keep talking, the epic version of this, like the small, the, the small one, I would say it's green, but it was only green because it was painted green. Um, so I figured that that'd be the perfect head to get. I do like the new head, the Mars pattern head, I think is what it is, but this is just, this, Wait. the Lucius one is, is a nice one. It's the butt? It's that. You, that I told shirt. you that. I told you that's what I got. So here's the instruction booklet. Let's just go through there real quick. Um, here's all your parts for this one. Let me zoom in just a hair. Oh. That's all the pieces. That's just a little bit of pieces. That's just for the head. I know. It's just so, so the head is fairly yes. easy. You're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces for the head. And, of course, these Wait, are the two shield plates for the, on the shoulder pads areas. Yes, and it comes with the crew. You've got your... Is that the little dudes? Yeah, I think I already snipped them out. So you got your little dudes that... Oh, sorry. This is a full little dude. So you got... I hope that's focused, because the way I have it, the camera zoomed in right now, it might not be. So there's one little dude. You got two of these guys. They're the same. This is the full um, guy, but without an arm. Hold on. So you would have... You've got the seat part still sitting on there. So you have the one dude sitting on there. It's It's got left and right. Which I don't understand the full purpose because it's yeah, literally damn. the exact same figure. Like, exact. I mean, dude, can y'all see a difference in that guy? It's the same dude, but one says left and one says it's right. I, like, go figure. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So, then we got the pilot. They're called princeps, I guess. Yeah, princeps. Um, he's got his arms here. What's funny is I did pick up one of these guys already on for, on a, on a China cast. Uh oh, are we missing his other arm? Yep. No, it's right here. And there's his other arm. We'll go over there like that. And see, I'm not even on camera, dude. So yeah, so there's the pilot part, which would be pretty cool. So I'm definitely gonna paint those up. And then here is the dismounted pilot. This is for Ford so to me, this guy would be cool. Like if y'all are familiar with the Warlord Titan, it's got that little uh, low landing deck on the back. Landing deck, the little observation deck on the back. It'd be cool to guy kind of have to glue this guy out there standing out the back. But um, I have other plans for him since I do have another model. Um, I'm probably gonna turn this one into an 
I and Q28 figure of some sort. Or I think initially I was going to use them for a Astropath or something like that for my 30k army. I don't know. I've got tons of ideas for that as well. Let me go get these back in there. So there are those little figure guys. I, I'm going to tell you right now, guys. I am I am beyond nervous about this whole model. Oh, and one more little. Oh, thank you. Not, not, because, not building it at all, I think. I just it's just a nervous model in general. Like I have it's like just so nervous. I I spent some money on this toy, so to speak. And toy? It's not a toy. That's right, girl. It's not a toy. It's a finely tuned instrument for gaming. It's an instrument. It's a gaming piece. Easy. Who in the heck seriously is gonna play a game with you with this? Like seriously. Oh look, I already built it. It's all done. No, I, I got scrubbing to do. I haven't even gave these guys a bath yet. And I'm going to do it a bit at a time. Um, that was the other thing. Like, with these videos, these Journey to Forge World videos, I am probably going to... Uh, drop it in there. For this build anyway, there's going to be building and painting together videos. Like, one video will be painting something, one video will be building something. Part one. Because, like, especially like this. Building this guy up, I want to paint the details inside, obviously, because the cap, the top head can come off. I'll put a magnet on the front right about here, yeah. so that way it can just have something to give it a little bit of a pull down so it doesn't fall off. Um, but I can paint this up. Oh, well, it's not It's not even this. this. This can all be painted at one time. Um, it's some of the other things once we get to that. Like, but the armor plates, I really want to push myself on this model. And I just feel like you should. You have to. The it's, big... It's just that thing. It's just a massive model. You have to. Um, oh, okay. Round two. Yep, round two. So, <clears throat> I did get three weapons choices on this. Um, it's got the two shoulder mounted weapons. We'll get to those in a minute. Um, but then it's got its, its arm weapons. And I was uncertain which one to get, so I picked one extra. And it's this right here. I got the claw. The power claw. And that's all it comes with. Just that big thing and these little tiny pieces. Yeah. So here's your instructions and here's all your breakdown of them. Let me fold this over. I know this is this is the worst video I've ever made in my life. Uh, there you go. So there's all the parts. Um, you're getting with the armor plating and stuff. Like I can start painting some of that armor plating while I'm doing the build, honestly, because that stuff's not going to be put on until dead last anyway. Um, I need to get some magnets in for this because I want to magnetize quite a lot. This comes with the two options for the claw or the fist. Now, I could spend time magnetizing each individual claw. For each individual finger, you know, but I, I've decided against that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. I like the way the claws look. I think I'm just gonna give him a power claw because it's just a really epic looking piece. Um. So yeah, like I said, I think that's the route I'm gonna go. We have here. We have all its little fingers. Well, this is our. There's so much going on here. It's like lunacy. So you have a thumb here. And it's set up to where you can do right or left side. So here you can put it over here for your right hand. Or over here for the left hand. Okay. So it's, 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 it's like I said, it's easily set up to go either way. And um, we don't even that's know what the whole thing yeah, would look, look like. So, it go on there like that. And here's your thumb piece. No, that's not the thumb piece. Where's the thumb piece? There's a the thumb piece. Oh. This is the thumb. Now the thumb itself is just a standard uh, regular thumb. It doesn't have, yeah, see here it is right here. There's the thumb piece. It doesn't have a claw or anything like that. It's just a regular thumb. Now the cool thing about this, it's a bald socket joint here. So you've got a lot of posability on it. Um, if I wanted to, I could pin it, run a pin out here and drill a couple of different holes so I can go straight, deal one with an angle like this way so I have it more open. Um, the oh, problem with the, the pins only 
is you get the wear and the tear and eventually the, the pins loosen up. Yeah. So then by then I'll have to figure out a, a positioning. I do the same thing with these. I could do a pin, like I slide it on here, or I could slide it on open. You could technically drill like three holes down this and have a completely closed, a slightly open, or a fully open hand. I hope you can see all that. I don't know if you can or not. But um, yeah, so that's what it is. The, the fingers break down the same way. Um, you get your initial ball and socket joint here. So that'll go up in this spot here. And it comes with these pistons. So these pistons will lay on like this. And then this back section will get down in that hole somehow. However you want them. And then that way you can adjust. Like if you have the finger hands more open, more closed. You get your adjustments on that. Um, this is what it looks like with a standard finger. It's a three-part finger. So you have your knuckle joint to your hand. You have your second piece. And then you have your tip. Oops. Yeah. And then you got your tip right there. So, and then again, it's that same thing where you can rotate it and have it closed more. Like it's grabbing, open, however you want to do it. But I, again, like I said, I like the way that looks. There's just something about that that looks just so sick. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking of that. Like, <sighs> yeah, see, so that's the route I'm going to go. And you get three, uh, four of these across the top. So you'll have your four claws coming out. If I had some blue tack, I would blue tack one together just to kind of show you, you know, what it would look like on. I think we do. No. So, yeah, you get looking at it all like that. That's a long, that's that's huge. That's the size of a rhino. Um, there's a lot of ums in this video. Apologize. Here's your joint right there. And of course, you can pivot your joints so you figure out how you want it. I could run a pin through there and then hack it to where I can move it. Um, put like a run a heavy piece of brass in there or a, a hole and then put line it with some, uh, um, I was going to say shrink wrap, like electric, electronic shrink wrap, but I need something thicker, I think, to run it through there. And then a pin, like a hefty weight pin to go through there and make it so it's a nice snug fit so you could move something like that. But then I'd still have to contend with this. This is the elbow joint. So that would go up in the thing, but th there'd be no way to make a rotation here. You know me, I always want to make things like toys. But then I, I can do the same thing up here at the top with this that goes up into the elbow joint. Not having it all out, it's hard to show you how things go together like that. But, um, so here's your armor plates. I'm going to show you what one side looks like put together. Well, this side over here. Or over here. So that goes like that. And then, is this side? Which side is this? This side? Yeah. And then that'll go like that. So that's your armor plating for the hand. And of course, there's matching on the other side. And also, it has, um, what are these called? Volcano cannons? Not volcano cannons. What are these? Vulcan mega bolters. Vulcan. So oh, here's this. And of course, you got your little mega bolter tips. I think broke it. Never mind. I'm just flying, dudes. We may have to do two parts on this. I think we may have to do two parts on this. We'll see. I don't know what I'm at right now already. And she dropped something on the ground. So you got your two Volta Mega Bolters. And it's got these little ammo covers on the back. Well, you'll see more of this as I build it. Just I'm just kind of showing you what's in the box. And that's going to go mounted like that. Again, none of this stuff has been cleaned yet. It still needs cleaning. All of it needs cleaning. And I'm going to clean it as I build it. And I'm going to do it like... And the build is going to go in sections like this. Like, it's going to be... Like section you work yeah. on it and watch it like too? the first section i'll probably do will be the head because it's going to be the easiest section to build Done. um i don't need a lot of pinning on it i don't need a lot of anything what like that what? not a lot of magnetizing on it either it? this thing is 22 inches tall so, so it's, like it's like two that? inches shy of two feet it's like that tall? pretty much yes um the other thing too is i need to figure out the base structure on this like how big a base would i need on this I know I've seen some people who don't put them on bases. I've seen some people who do. I like basing. Even if I made a base that it magnetized to, like I know it wouldn't be a base where it would just stay on forever. Hold on, kiddo. Hold on. Slow down. So we're going to put that down there. I'm going to pause for a second so I can take a breath and get some water. All right, guys. We're coming back to this, <laughs> this long unboxing. 
Um, I've decided I'm not going to dump it out and show you every individual piece. We'll do that as I build. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got. So we have the head, which is the Lucius pattern. And we have the, the claw, uh, fist claw. This is the, the other arm I got, which is the Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator. I got it because I really like the way it looked. So like I said, I'm not going to bust it out and show you every individual piece right now. We're going to save that to the build process. So each one of these guns will have a separate build process. But I'm just going to show you the bags. I've already looked through most of this. So that is, I mean, look at that. That's a big, huh? we're, like I said, we're not going to show you that. But I will show you what it looks like built. So here's what it looks like on the model. And it's, again, it's one of the multi-pose arms. You need to put it on the right side or the left side. Um, I'm hoping, however I do these, um, since I want to have them interchangeable. I saw somebody who built it. I wish I could remember his name. I'm going to go back and look. And maybe on one of the other ones, I'll make sure I reference him. But he did a really slick way of a pinning situation to where it was like a little cap that looked like it was part of the model. But it was a pin that you pulled out. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to think about rigging something up like that. So here's your plasma annihilator. That's kind of what it looks like on the model. And here is your breakdown of the parts that it comes with. Just the parts. Some of them are small parts, right? Yeah. Small cables. Ooh, these are small. Look at these. And then that is what it's going to look like all built together. So, again, I'm, I'm trying not to let this video go like mega overboard because we're going to still have the build videos to do with all this. So, that's going to take a while. All right, so that was one of the arms. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next arm. I think that was not it. This one. This is... Volcano Cannon. That is the other arm I picked. So that way I have the two shooty arms and I have the optional claw. Um, there's so much stuff in here. Oops. I said, I'm not going to get out and show you all this. I'm just going to show you the instruction booklet. You're getting everything out. I am. Um, I feel like I'm going to fart. Don't you dare. I ought to, right in your face. So yeah, so here it is. Another one again. It This one is a little different. Um, once I get down to it, I'll see better. But you've got this plating that goes on the side somehow. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. This part is fine. Um, it being multi-sided, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to put this on there. Um, with like a magnet so that way if I want to put this on the right arm it goes on the right arm if I want to put it on the left arm it goes on the left arm um, I don't know I mean see that's that's the tough part of this decision for this this model this part of the model anyway because you're looking at this is probably going to go back like this because it goes a little bit behind I don't know I don't know again it's something we're going to get to later on when I actually start hacking and building on this guy That'll be my, my decisions. The other thing, too, is what am I going to start working on first? Guns, more than likely. Head, definitely, will be the very first one. Um, Mars Pattern Warlord Titan Bellicosa Volcano Cannon. So there's all your parts. Okay, so there's your outer shield mount. So that's going to go on. This piece right here is going to go on either side. So that would be where I put the magnet. That's what I magnetize. I would go ahead and... Uh, no? Oh, yeah, see? I would have to magnetize this to this on either side. And then I would have to magnetize this too as well. So that way I could flop it to either side. Whichever side I wanted it on. That's going to be a tough one. That's going to be something to look into and try to figure out. More things to figure out on this. So to, to, to that way I can optimize all my options. Um, let's go to the back here. And here's what the final assembly is going to look like. Gluing the gun cowl to the weapon. Oh. This piece right here, this cowling, isn't going to matter. It's going to go on any way you want it, however you want it. It's just this outside outer shielding that you kind of have the options of which side to put it on. 
Um, again, I'll, I'll just that's something I'm gonna have to figure out in the long run. Which which what's gonna be optimal for me? What am I gonna want to do on it? And putting that many magnets, you're having a, th a three part magnet system. You're gonna have the magnet to the body. You're gonna have a magnet to this middle piece here, and you're gonna have a magnet to the shielding. And that's gonna you're gonna have a lot of reverse polarities going on in there, making you angry. So it's definitely like I said, something I'm gonna have to figure out and finagle to get that to work right. Uh, I'll try to fly through this some more, guys. It's probably gonna be a long video. I apologize. Um, when we get to the actual build videos, I'll make those shorter. Like I'll do like I did when I was building the uh, town R. We'll do like this is what I'm gonna do, and then I'll do it. And then just kind of skip ahead a little bit and show you as I go each process, each piece. All right. So that is the two side weapon arms. The, or that's all the weapon arms I got. Choices. Now we're going to go for the top. I only picked the one top weapon. Because oh, I didn't want to be stupid and spend so much damn money. <laughs> I already did. Um... So I went ahead and just stuck to the, the regular. What? I opened the wrong bag gum box. <coughs> Let's try this again. There we go. That didn't look right. Um, I could I couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted to do the the rocket the missile thing, or the gun. So I went ahead and went with the what's already the standard on the model, and that's the little tri laser system. I went for these guys here. I just like the way they look. They look really cool. Maybe later on down the line, uh, as the nerd life grows more and I get you to buy more stuff, fun toys and whatnot, I'll, I'll get the missile options too. But I'll still go ahead and magnetize these on here. I'm not going to go too crazy again like I did on the last one and show you. Oh, here's this. So I guess there's the top. That's what it looks like. These got to be broken off here and cleaned out here. But that's where your, your guns are mounted to. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to tell you right now, guys. This is some weighty resin, dude. This is some hefty resin right here, man. Um, you got two bags. You got over here is all your gun tips and your small parts. So it should be six total of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope that was on camera. I apologize. I did a lot of apologizing in this video. And here's your shield cat, your cowling. This is where it goes back again. I could pre-paint this stuff during the build. I could prime all this stuff, have it ready to go, be painting, doing any of the detail work I wanted to do on the inside. Because that's kind of where I'm at on this stuff. Especially once we get to the main body in a minute. I'll show you. You've got so much surface area that you, you, you almost can't not paint it. Um, let me show you this real quick. So here's the, here's the build, the full build of this. So you're making two of these for the top shoulders. Um, I'm going to look at it, and I want to go back, and anybody who may already have one of these, and you do have the missile versions, are the mounts the same on here? Like this would be, like if you got the missile pod, it would just be the missile pods mounted in there? Or is it a whole different mounting setup? Because I guess that goes back to where or how I would magnetize it in the long run. All right, now let's get to the good, good guys. Oh, so, if you bought one of these, you would have a head box, your two arm boxes, and then your one box of your upper armament, your upper weapons. And then you would have two of these. Oh. That's all as far as it'll go. Well, we can extend it a little bit. Now, guys, I apologize. I have no idea what's being seen right now. I'm wearing pants, so that's a plus. Uh, that's typically optional. Uh, but this is the body. These are the boxes the body's going to come in. See? They're already falling apart. I don't want these boxes to fall apart. I, I can't tell you whether or not these boxes are like this one's the upper body, this one's the lower body. Or anything like that. I think it's just, honestly, these are just the body boxes. It's got everything they got in there. Oh, man, I wish I really could. I'm going to pause real quick, guys. Sorry. All right, guys. Here we are. We're back. I need to get a, oh, look at that, hand mirror. 
so I can see behind my camera to see what the hell I'm looking at and how much y'all are seeing. So I know this is my hot spot. This is the spot in the center of the, the camera frame. Um, oh. Let's see if I can build this box back for a second. There we go. I just had some staples. So some thick, hefty box material right here, buddy. Game Workshop, you know what you're doing on this stuff. Or Forge's World, whatever. Uh, so anyway, like I said, this box before, I, I don't know what is what on it. Like, am I looking at upper body and lower body? Or is this all upper body and the other one's all lower body? I think for the most part, the two boxes are just flat out body. Because right here, this I'm pretty sure is a thigh. Um, is one of the thigh pieces. And I know for a fact this is his crotch. This is his jubbly bits. So you would have pieces that go somewhere. I don't even know. That might be a foot. I don't know. Holy crap. Let's probably inventory these and assume and hope that everything's there. Uh, but here's your shoulder platings. I know that this is where the actual shielding goes on to. I, my, I was digging in this box to try to find the instructions. And honestly, I don't know where they are. I think they may be in the other box. They are. They're in the other box. So we're just going to kind of show you real quick some stuff in here. So here's your, oh yeah, I know what this is. This is the leg plating. This is the one from the ground down. Okay, so you'd have his foot under here. So see what I'm saying? Like the massive area of painting on here. I could paint a scene on here. Um, I'm still not 100% certain what my um, color pattern is going to be on this guy or anything like that. You know, right now it's going to be just, let's get this dude built. Okay. And then from there, we'll, we'll determine what's next. What's the next step. But it, the ability to paint a lot of detail on here is what makes me really happy. Um, with the shoulder platings, it's going to go on there like this. And then you've got one. So that's your front section here. And then this would be your rear section. Yeah, right there like that. So that is a shoulder cap. Okay, and you've got your gun mounts up here up top too. I think this is where your uh, actual like laser cannons would be and stuff. Um, it's just such a, oh, so much area for activities and things like that. I thought about doing already like this, like a marble, kind of an, uh, an ivory or a, yeah, like an ivory color or like more of a bone color and coming in with like a green marbling effect over it or something. I mean, of course, doing all this in there, the metallics and stuff, the trim and whatnot. Maybe doing a planet on here of some sort. I don't know. There's so many. There, there's a lot of ideas I have. But I know for sure whatever I do on this, this is going to take me a long time to do because I'm going to go as slow as humanly possible. Um, I want to make sure that when I do this, I'm doing it proper. This, I believe, is where the, the arm comes down from. Yeah, you, I think this goes off like that. And then these would mount over the top somehow. I don't know. I'm not going to try to pretend I know what's going on over here. Because I don't. I have no clue. I haven't looked at this yet to see how things go together or anything like that. All I know is there's going to be a lot of pinning, a lot of, um, this must be the lower section of the body coming off there, a lot of epoxy being used, and then a, a few magnets, a few magnets. Probably not as many magnets as some people would think for me. Um, but be a definitely a quite a, a quite a few being used. So that's it for this box. Let me unbox the other one. I'm gonna pause and get the other one, get this out of the way, and get the next one on. So that way we can kind of get this moving along. 
Let me, uh, where's the book? All right, here we go. Let's throw this box lid off. So this is the next box um, of body parts. <laughs> this is the next box of body parts, guys. So we've got some dead things going on in here. So this one's got all the bags in it. There's four bags and some bubble tape. And ooh, 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 top secret documents. I didn't open this yet. I have no idea what's in here. So we're gonna put this here. You will see all that is in a minute. Uh, what well, I've noticed looking at this, this is gonna be a lot of your um, armor plating, random armor plates and stuff for things. And your bits, like your little miniature bits. I think some of this is even going to be for your miniature bit. Ha! <laughs> ha! They call this a miniature. Miniature my bleep. Um, nothing miniature about this son of a bee. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at so many things in there. It's crazy. Oh, look. These are like more normal size stuff. You got some last cannons in there. I know what that's for, where those go, and some bolters back here, maybe. There's a little grating. Man, I'm also looking at bits in here, too. It's like, holy crap, if they just sell individual parts, you could have some fun building stuff. There's a toe. Back when this first came out, when they were teasing this, my, my middle child, Sophia, saw a picture of it, and she's like, what is that foot? It looks huge. And I was like, honey, I think it's something very massive and dangerous and sure enough it was we have a warlord titan so yeah so there's the feet and the toes more socket joints and stuff like that i think this is going to be the the hip joints here so they're too hip hip to be cool this thing it's can i open oh i can't open it I have no idea what's in here. I'm assuming it's going to be the instructions for the actual build and some stuff. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, there's more stuff in here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> checked by here. Oh, look, this is checked by RG at 1517. So that would have been May 1st of 2017. That's empty. All right, what do we got here? We got a book and things. Blah, blah. The fabricate, fabricator general has decreed that power your army may deploy the might of the warlord titan. Tremble foes of mankind for the might of the omnissiah is upon you. Thou thought for the day, victory needs no explanation, defeat allows none five five two i'm assuming is this how many that are out there in the world right now 552 of them that is pretty cool i'm gonna frame that because that's rad that is righteous well oh, yep this is the instruction guide guys let's zoom you back down for this maybe i'm here let's see what i'm looking at yeah there we go so there we go. Here we have the instruction guide. Mars Pattern Warlord Titan. I'm curious what the difference, what is the Mars Pattern? I mean, is that assuming, I, I thought that was the head that just told you what the pattern were. Holy crap. So, here is the upper body, the torso components. There are 56, okay, there's 56 different pieces multiples of those pieces there's like eight void shield projectors and then some oh gosh and 79 on this bad boy so here we have the leg section of it and that's probably how i will build it too we will have the legs and then the torso obviously as separate builds but whenever i get down to it it'll probably be the legs first i think that's probably your best well obviously your best route i did it on the uh town R. Start from the bottom and work your way up. R climb that ladder. The kicker with this thing is, so here's what your legs are going to look like once you build them out. Uh, I'm 
hoping the camera is like right there. Um, my deal is figuring out for sure my pose, my standard pose. I then now the, the the upper torso was hollow, but it it's still a hefty piece of resin. Um, see, like it's got it standing here. The legs are more closer together, and over here it's making a stride. I would do the stride. I think that would look cool because I do like the aspect of giving it motion. Um, but in the long run, if I'm going to base it, but have it magnetized where if I wanted to play with it on the game... Seriously, who plays with this on the game board? Who plays with this? Who takes this to a game and plays it? Like, really? Careful. Careful. That's those are critical. No. Um, the people who take this to a game and play it are people that are going to be meanies. I want to play with it just because I think it would be fun to have... This on a, on, a game, on a board and have a big massive amount of my towel fleet going after it and trying to take it down and say, yay, the town are completely got annihilated by the warlord. I couldn't beat them for nothing. I just think it would be a fun game. If I ever get my shop, this would be, it would be a, a fun little thing to do. People come over and they play and they go up against the, the warlord titan just for fun. Just for fun. Um, legs, basing... That's something I'm going to have issues with. I'm trying to figure out. I do want to base it. I got this a while back from uh, Titan Manufactorum. I ordered it just because I wanted to see what their stuff was. They use a foam, the rigid foam, to make and sculpt their models with some pieces on it. I did add a lot of this to it to make it look like a torn, broken piece uh, of a Titan. And I'm thinking about putting this on the base somehow. Like mine took it out, you know, like cutting the fingers out to where it's like kind of jammed down in some dirt and that's coming up. Maybe have it standing on it. I don't know. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get around to using this that way. I, I ultimately just was trying to decide whether I was going to order one of these from Titan Manufactorum or not. Because um, they are, they're beautiful models. I mean, from what I've seen, I've seen people who had them and painted them up and built them. Um, my biggest issue I had with them personally was... This was the second one they sent out to me because the first one got lost. And, you know, it happens. I understand that. Um, but if something like that happens and a customer calls you uh, and messages you, um, the guy, the, the, the emails back and forth were a bit rude. I tried not to be rude at all. Um, I was just like, look, hey, dude, I never got it. I don't have any kind of tracking to prove that it got here or not. I don't know if it got sent to the wrong house. Or what? I just, I, it never showed up. So they sent me out another one quick. Um, it got here. And again, like I said, I, I, I don't, I, I doubt very seriously I would ever really purchase from them to be fully honest, man. Um, not saying you shouldn't. Me personally, I had a bad, bad, what, what, I can't even say it was a bad deal, man. It's understandable. You know, he could have been having a bad day. He gets a message from somebody saying, hey, I don't have my stuff. I, it never showed up. And who knows how many times he gets that happening and somebody's lying to him. You know, I, I understand. But still, anyway. Um, I'm going to use this on the basing somehow. And like I said, I'm either going to have the basing where it's permanently mounted or it's the same guy who I saw originally, who I watched a lot of the stuff he did, or another dude. He had a two-layer basing, so it was like a cutout to where the foot went in. And he had built up it really cool. I may do something like that too and have a hefty magnet drilled into the bottom of the foot and the plating so I can mount it and it stays semi-decent on there or I can pull it off and just set it on the table. We'll see. Oh, there's a gecko on the window. Anyway, this has nothing to do with well, it. kind of has something to do with this, but it doesn't. Um, here is your body, your carapace. That's what I was saying. It's like really hollow inside. I hope you can see that. Um, so there, you're, you've got a lot of open air, open space in here. That's good for the weight factor, bad for the structural integrity. These is, this is going to be a pain to build. Um, especially with this, this epoxy I got, it's really good. I use it on the town R super sturdy. It's gorilla. Gorilla is amazing. Um, it sets in five minutes. So I've got to be careful mixing up the right amount and careful making sure everything is sitting properly. I'll still probably use like, uh, my paper clip pinning. For walls and things like this, do a couple of them down to help it go on there straight and sturdy. 
give it a little bit of support while it's gluing. But then after that, the glue is probably going to be the majority of the support on something like that. Again, that's, that's just how, my thinking now. Once I actually get into this build and get actually doing it, things are more than likely going to change. My, my, my opinion is going to change on how I do certain things. Um, here's more of the build for the torso being put together. Got these rad upper exhaust system here. I just love the way it looks. Here's your front cowling over the head. Another thing, like I said, I can pre-paint this stuff. Since the majority of the body itself is going to be a metallic, and I actually found a cool metallic spray paint that I may use outright. My wife found it at Lowe's. We're supposed to have a Lowe's date and go look at spray paint. That's weird, huh? A little bit, probably. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at weapon pinning. Kind of cool. So you got a mauler bolter, or I guess optional. Or is it front and back? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't show where these go. Oh, yeah, it does. So you do a mauler bolter. I don't know what a mauler bolter is. It sounds beasty. Um, so... Right? I don't know, dude. I, I'm, I'm just like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's me. Um, we'll just have to figure this out, dude. As we go. Nice, nice. So cool. Wow. Oh, man. I wish I could make this m totally movable. I see so many things in my head. Um, so here essentially is them putting on the cowling i mean the the uh the armor plating and then yeah that's what you have that that that's this done so there would be your two upper support upper uh weapon supports so that's where these go um so ultimately i'll either probably put a magnet down in there uh, I heard somebody say it sits on there pretty snug as is, but I still want to give it... That magnet is just that little bit of extra... No, you can't go anywhere. Oh. So, so, so... Wow. And then here you go. That is a Warlord Titan. Legion Griffonicus. Legio Mortis. That is what I need to determine. What Legion is my Titan going to be? Uh, what is that game coming out soon? Uh, I think it's Legio Ty Titanicus Legis Legion. It's that there. There's rumor, but not a rumor because people have already seen the models. But they're the the epic scale Titan models, and it's gonna be a game where you use Warhound Titans and all that stuff, and then maybe eventually epic stuff. But um, maybe they'll bring in more. Legions. Oh, did you hear that? I think one of my kids died. No. They just fight. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. The fighty and fighty show. <laughs> kids. Love them. <sighs> Guys, I, uh, I'm starting to lose my voice. I've been talking and rambling nonstop, and I'm sure all of you know that. Um, this is good for me, though, because I'm getting... My mind off other stuff, keeping my depression at bay with hobby stuff, which is a good thing. Major good thing. Yeah. So. Whew. I need to breathe. <sighs> anyway, guys. Um, leave comments down below what you want me to start on or what you what you, what the order you would like to see me do this in. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to build the head first just because it's a quick, easy build. Um, but I, I, the legs are more than likely going to be it. But tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about, uh, Legion, uh, to go for, you know? Well, it's a traitor Legion. Oh, shame on that naughty little monkey. Same, same, shame. I wonder if my face is in the camera right now. Nope. It's over there. Oh, man. I need, to, I need to do some research. Y'all guys help me out too. Uh, shoot me in some directions of some stuff or anything you may know about certain ones. A book I could read. Whatever. 
um, on some of the legions, the Titan legions. So that way I can figure out where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do with this. And this is really cool. Guys, I love you all. Um, you guys are amazing and wonderful. Um, I sit there and I bought this for myself. Just because, you know, and, and I'm, I've, I always have buyer's remorse on anything I do. We're not hurting. Like, this, this didn't cause us to get kicked out of our place or anything like this. This is something we, we're still doing great. Um, I just, I always, I, especially when I go to buy something for myself, I'd much rather spend the money on other people or, or my family. And, and, I, and I did this for myself as something that's going to be, it's going to keep me busy and happy for a while. I mean, I have, it's not like I don't have tons to do. I have tons of models to work with, but I just, I like to not get sucked into doing like Tau. I was doing nothing but Tau and like this hobby is my therapy. I want to be able to jump around and do multiple things. And so I, I expand on my, my toys pretty much. And they're just so much fun to do. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, guys. All, all I can say is I love you all. I thank you. I hope you enjoy this, uh, this video and what the start of this video is going to bring to the channel. Um, it's a lot of work going to be in this and it's going to be worked on throughout the the coming months and maybe a whole year honestly um, amongst other things like after i box this up i'm about to bust out uh an imperial night i've been working on and, and get it put together the rest of the way but um guys i love you all so much i thank you so much uh i really i, I can't express enough if i could give everybody a warlord titan i would and for those of you that'd be too afraid to build it, I would build it for you if that's what you wanted. Um, I love you guys. Y'all are amazing people, man. I I'm trying to get back to where I was before and just keep moving forward. I'm, I'm struggling. I am struggling mentally, um, physically a, li a little bit. But you guys are m my friends. Y'all are my friends. I love you guys. I thank you so much. Keep rocking that nerd life, my friends. I'll see you next time.